Um, this is meant to demonstrate how you can use LLMs to control physical systems like personal robotics, uh, kitchen assistants, home robotics, um, and eventually even in some cases things like delivery systems and stuff like that where the robot is going to be very heavily interfacing with a human and needs to be able to easily interpret you know, textual and language style commands. Uh, this workshop is also designed to show the challenges of that in that um, all the code is public, so everything's up on GitHub, uh, and the the the, the uh, Twitch chat is live. Everyone everyone in the world can play it's, right now. It's GPT four. Yeah. Well, this is this is actually running on GP three three point five turbo. Three point five. Okay, turbo. So, okay. so this is running on three point five turbo because I'm I'm a poor boy. I work for the government, um, and so we every every Twitch message um, gives a is given a um, context file. Oh, it really likes He's attacking you. me. Oh, he likes me? Oh, that's good. Yeah, that's cool. It, it, it's a friendly boy. Yeah, no, I know. Yeah. But, um, so everybody, every every Twitch message is given a context that says, hey, convert this into a general format of bracket, forward, verse, turn, comma, angle, comma, time. Um, and that, that context is purposely left a little vague because what you can do with this and what we're encouraging people to do is you can also experiment with doing prompt injections on it. So if you tell it to do other stuff in addition to the movement command, the context doesn't block that, which gives you, the user, a lot more usability and flexibility in controlling the robot than you would have if we were to, like, if I were to hand you a joystick or, like, send a message over RF to it where it's a much more defined, constrained shape. Um, so who's controlling this baby now? So right now, it is being controlled by uh, I Dream of Electric Sheep. Cool. Is the, is so our, is people our, just... Anybody in the public, you don't even have to be a DEF CON to be nope, doing this. No, anybody in the public can run it. Yeah. And so what can I ask you, you say you work for the government, can you tell me what you yeah. do? Yeah. Uh, so I am with CDAO, Chief Digital AI Office, uh, along with Natalie, uh, David, and the rest of the gang here. Uh, I'm a part of a group called DDS, Defense Digital Service. We are a group of hackers and engineers that work out of the Pentagon. And our job is basically to help broader DOD with tech issues and tech problems, implementing stuff fastly and rapidly. Uh, with NCDO, we've been helping them out very heavily with um, basically translating the very broad concerns about AI in general, such as the stuff that you're seeing about, like, you know, how do I make sure that, it, that the, an algorithm is easy to understand or easy to translate and everything else, and basically helping them define that language and shape that in something that the government can actually act on. Does this have anything to do with autonomous weapons or semi-autonomous? Uh, not for us, no. We are an OSD group. We are not a service group, so we do not do weapon systems. What's your ultimate vision for this? I was... So this specific workshop here is meant to educate people on the advantages and disadvantages of using LLMs for physical systems. Because uh, there's a lot of good and there's a lot of bad with it. Because we're trying to encourage people to, to basically think of these security issues, think of uh, the potential control issues, because again, LLMs are naturally much more chaotic than a joystick and stuff. You're not always just going to get left, right, up, down. Um, but to still be able to be able to play with that in a free space where most people would not touch this technology or think of doing that. So we want to encourage that creativity, but we also want to kind of help define like the guardrails of like, hey, you need to watch out about this or you need to watch out about that um, as people go and develop this technology. Because our goal, like. You know, we are the DOD, we are, federal, we are federal government employees, our job is to help you, the American citizen and taxpayer, and also help, you know, the help security research and everything go this. Like, we want this technology to evolve, we want people to do this more, but we do want them to be aware of the safety issues and stuff with it, so that something doesn't go bad down the line. Well, it's going to happen whether we like it or not, right? Yes. Uh, which is where, like, being a being a proactive player and participating in things here, like the AI Village, where it's like we're kind of getting our out. We're not saying no. We're not blocking anyone. We're not try we're not trying to be the meanies who are like knocking everything down. We're saying, hey, um, you know, we will help you do this. We will lend our technical expertise to it. We will encourage you, the broader American public, to help explore this technology. But. There are concerns that we have in the DoD. There are things that we have noticed in our own testing that we want to make people aware of so that as they go build their own systems, they don't fall through the same pitfalls. Yep. Where can somebody go to try this out, try their hand at controlling it? Is there uh, a website? So, or? Yep, so it is a Twitch stream. 
Twitch. So if you go, if you go twitch.tv uh, slash Defense Digital Rover, Defense Digital Rover is the Twitch stream. All right. And so anybody can get on it all three days. We will be here running for the entirety of DEF CON. What about after DEF CON? Is this something you might make permanent to let people play with it? Uh, we are working with the, with, the, with the AI Village and uh, Sven and Austin and the gang on doing it. There, um, the plan is for if we do future Generator Red Team events, this will definitely be a part of it and just kind of like a traveling roadshow sort of thing. So there's definitely the room for more, um, but we will see. It's still too early to tell. All right. Thank you very much. Appreciate yeah. your time. Anytime, okay. man. Have fun.